One year ago, I didn't even know the word DevSecOps. Today, I am working as a DevSecOps engineer at Standard Chartered. So in this video, I will explain what is the real difference between the DevOps and the DevSecOps and how this small shift changed my entire career. So please stay till the end, not for me, but for your own clarity. Okay. So let me start from where I began. So at that time, I was just learning Linux, then cloud, then Git, CI, CD, the basics of the DevOps to become a DevOps engineer. So I created the pipeline. Then actually I did some automation, automated uh, builds also, then deployed the code application. And I thought like, this is it. Okay. So this is just like a DevOps engineer do, but something was truly missing. I never thought about the security actually. Yeah. So I never thought like, what if this code is vulnerable? What if someone like pushes the secret on a GitHub? Like sounds like stupid, na? But yeah. So that's the when I heard the word DevSecOps. And it's just hit me the hard. Okay. So one more thing. I want to learn this from any how. Like I just want to learn. That's it. That was my target at that time. So now let's talk clearly. Like DevOps is about speed making the code like go from the developer to the production okay fastly so devsecops is about the speed plus safety okay so we will automate we will deploy but we also check is this code is secure are there any secrets are exposed or not so it's like is there any image which is scanned for the malware? Is the infrastructure, is the infra, like, is it safe for, from the attacks? Another thing that I know, which was like, DevSecOps is equal to, you can say, DevOps plus building security. That's the two points, okay? So, not at the end, but from the start, you can say, this is the concept. I learned as a DevSecOps engineer, like is that you can say shift left, which is everything in the security uh, purpose. So now as a DevSecOps engineer, I don't just write the pipelines. I do the things like use the GitHub actions with the security scanners, scan the images with the Trivi and Aqua, add the secret checkers to CI, CD, like make sure no open ports in the Terraform and check everything before the deployment. It is not just about the attack. It is about the responsibility because I work on a uh, like various banking applications. One small mistake can definitely cost millions. Okay. So now many of you ask me, so Nancy, should I learn DevSecOps first or DevOps? Is the DevOps is enough? Here is my honest answer. See guys, uh, start with the DevOps basics, like Git, then the Linux, then the CI CD part, then you can say Docker, Kubernetes, then uh, Terraform and Ansible. Then slowly you can add the security scanners. Then you can add the, uh, like you can say secret uh, detections um, and the GitHub actions uh, pipeline, then infrastructure as a code uh, checks, then OWASP, you can say top 10 basics of the OWASP. Okay. Even a small habit like a scanning a code before a merge can make a huge difference. Believe me. Okay. So, you know, when I started now, I was scared. I thought like DevSecOps is only for the top companies and high level like people. Okay. For your seniors, but no. Even for the freshers, you can start learning this and like you can do like what I did. Even students can add the security tools in their projects. Okay. If you can write your code clean, okay, you can write secure code too. So that's the one thing what I learned. If you can write clean code, nah, you can write secure code. And believe me, you will thank me for this. So 
द मेन कंक्लूजन द वॉप्स वर्सेज डेकॉप्स वॉट्स द कंक्लूजन सो सी बोथ आर इम्पोर्टेंट बट द डेकॉप्स इज द फ्यूचर इफ यू कैर अबाउट द सिक्योरिटी स्पीड एंड रियल इम्पैक्ट ना यू स्टार्ट लर्निंग टूडे like this video if this is helpful to understand the difference between the devops and devsecops and subscribe for the more videos like this and comment if you want to i will help you uh, with this the learning path and i will reply you myself okay thank you